In this video, I'm going to show you the best way to defend the tight slots halfback weak out of the dollar three two defense. Now, if you guys are looking to take your dollar defense to the next level, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to become a member, and it's going to get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates uh, to those ebooks. And we've been dropping a ton of different updates uh, for the dollar defense. So if you want to get access to all of that stuff, again, just head over and join the Patreon. Guys, I wanted to just do a quick little like PSA, um, dollars the best defense for a reason. And we're going to show you that reason here today. And then we're also going to get into kind of some specific adjustments as to why this is such a good defense for tight slots or really any kind of compression uh, set. And it really has a lot more to do. There's a lot of reasons why dollar is the clear cut number one defense in this game. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. So coaching adjustments my recommendation is when you're running dollar go ahead and turn this off turn uh, auto flip off so that you can be in full control dollar is a symmetrical formation and you can be in control of you know whether you're running your cover three to this hash or this hash or not if you don't want to put this off then don't but but i like to put it off auto alignment this needs to be on base and i'm going to tell you why dollar is best ran on base align for multiple reasons the first reason is because it gives you a symmetrical formation where your opponent has no idea what you're doing coverage wise pre-snap the second reason is it makes your blitz significantly, and I want to double down and say significantly better. The alignment that you have in base align, it makes the blitz the best it possibly can be. Um, it's going to come in not only against a blocked running back, but a lot of times it can even come in against a blocked tight end. It just makes the blitz better. From there, option defense, we want to put that on conservative. And then our zone drops, you can kind of do this if you want to. I like to run on default as much as possible. Um, and then zone coverage, we're going to have on match. Okay? So dollar three two. Now the blitz concept we're going to show you today is DB Fire 2. And then the coverage concept is going to be this cover six uh, show four. The recommended audibles that I would say is cover six show four, spinner, cover four drop, and then cover to three cloud. So you can have access to all of the best concepts at your fingertips and you always want to come out in DB Fire 2. Now the best alignment uh, for dollar is to press. You're going to bring your safeties down and that's it. The blitz is completely set up. You want to stand about right here on the running back side and you should get double pressure every single time. Every single time. Now, one little pro tip that I would recommend, unless they are running the ball like a lot, if you're sending five pass commit, it makes the blitz significantly better because the defensive linemen are going to get into the rush lanes a little bit cleaner. The slot corners are going to move a little bit better. It just helps significantly with the movement of the defense. So again, press, pass commit, and you're good. Now, if you don't want to pass commit, one of the things I actually like to do is manually back off the outside corners. And the reason why I like to do that is if I want to play more cloud, cover three cloud style coverage, um, because it just helps with stopping corner routes a little bit. It kind of, the, if the back four are all at about the same depth, your match coverage will also play a little better. Coverage in general this year plays significantly better off coverage. But, I mean, you just see, like, when I pass commit, this blitz screams every single time, okay? And if they block a running back, yeah, they might pick it up sometimes, but it's rare that they're going to be able to pick it up even if they block six. They're really, like, if you're sending five at a dollar, you're pretty much going to get some pressure, as you can see right there. That was a blocked running back. Didn't really matter. So what about the coverage? One of my favorite things to do is if we can force someone to block one of the best route combos this year is basically this out of flood right here. This is one of the best route combinations this year because you can make really quick reads. And essentially, um, this corner route is borderline unstoppable. This corner route is really good to the short side. Essentially, you're just going to look here. You can throw your tight end. You can throw the running back quick. Like There's a lot open. So even though our blitz is really good, if our blitz, does, if our coverage doesn't hold up, our blitz loses 
its value. So a couple of adjustments you can make. The first adjustment that I like to make, if I wanna stay in this DB Fire 2, is I'm gonna actually wanna use her this guy. And then we're gonna play this little cover two game over here on the right. And then on the left side, we're gonna put the outside corner into either a third or an outside quarter. We're going to inside third that safety and we're gonna hard flat that linebacker. That's the easiest way that I know how to stop this. Um, it is, it's not 100%, but it makes it so that they're playing a little game over the middle between your user and you're gonna jump a route a time or two. But every now and then, one of my favorite things to do is to audible down to this cover six. I want my cover four to be on that side um, of the of the twins and essentially just literally run this play. This defense right here, I would like to take this linebacker and man him up over on that right. Um, or if you wanted to send four, um, you always like sending four is always good at a dollar. So you could do something like this. This is really good too. Essentially, it's the same basic thing, but this corner route will be completely guarded no matter what. And as you can see, the pressure still comes in, especially if you pass commit uh, with this play. What you're getting with this is you're getting a box check to the running back side in tight sets. And then you're gonna play cover six on the back end. Now, if you wanted to send five, you could do that as well. I would recommend hard flatting, but you could do that as well. And what you'll see now, make sure you pass commit with this. But if you do that, if you send five, you should still get pressure even if they block a running back, as you can see right there. So that is, in my opinion, why dollar is so good. The blitz is really good. If you pin, you can pinch your line so that you can stop the run in under center sets. You have symmetrical alignment, so you don't necessarily have to flip with people. You just have to adjust. Um, and if you can get the adjustments down, it is by far the best defense in the game right now. So if you want to become a Patreon member to learn a little bit more about this defense, head down to the description below and go click the link down below.